So, um, other than the fact that Mike has tried to kill me on several occasions, uh, one riding... He had it coming. Yes. Riding horses into the Cascade Mountains and sleeping on the snow where we all nearly died of exposure. Um, we've had many adventures together, and uh, but my favourite Mike Grell story is the one about the, uh, the 45. So I'm just going to hand it over to Mike to tell the story. Many years ago when I was uh, getting started with first comics on a project called John Sable Freelance, the book Sable, um, I was in Chicago for the contract negotiations and I had uh, stopped off at my brother's place and he gave me a 45 automatic as a birthday present. And that was really great, but I had it with me when I traveled out to Chicago. Um, now the legend says that when I walked into the negotiations, I opened my briefcase, took out a loaded 45, put it on the table and said, okay, let's talk. And the truth actually is that no, the negotiations were all completely finished before I opened my briefcase to get a pen and someone spotted the gun and they all wanted to play with it. So I took it out, unloaded it, and it made the complete rounds of the boardroom table. Everybody got to play with it, including one of the secretaries who wandered in. Um, she took a look and she had, to, she had to play with it and she said, you know, I'm not afraid of guns even though I've actually been shot once. And she had, um, but another young lady walked in, saw the gun making the rounds of the table, turned right around and left the building. <laughs> and, and she didn't come back that day. So the moral of the story is, when the legend reads better than the truth, print, print the, the legend. legend.